Hello, Pupis. Nice to meet you again. The topic before us today is profit and loss. Say it again, profit and loss. Repeat it after me, profit and loss. The motive behind any business is to make profit. Have it in mind, the motive behind any business or any transaction is to make profits. Nobody wants to make a, a loss at all. You see, our uh, women going to the market in the morning or anytime to buy or to sell their goods in the market. You want to go and make profit. That's the essence of uh, prof that's the essence of buying. That's the essence of selling. So the motive behind any business is to make profit. So the the topic before us today is profit and loss. That is how to determine profit and how to how to determine loss. Then any profit made on any article, how do you calculate it? Then if you also make loss, how do you calculate the loss made on any article? So that's what we want to do today. Now, let's go to the topic now. Now, profit and loss. Mathematics. Profit and loss. And don't forget that I said the motive behind any business is to make profits. The motive behind any business is to make profits. Now, how do we calculate profit made on any article? Or what is profit and what is loss? What is profit and what is loss? Before we go to the meaning of profit and that of loss, let's proper look at the objectives of the lesson. Now, at the end of this lesson, I'm expecting each of each one of you for you to define or say the meaning of profit and loss. That is, define profit and to define the loss, and also to determine the cost price on any article and determine the selling price on any. Article again, that is, we need to define profit and define a loss also to determine the cost price on any article and also to determine the selling price on any article. Now, the next thing to do or to understand whether this is a profit and loss are times under profit and loss. What are those times under profit and loss? The first thing you have to consider is cost price. What is cost price? Cost price is the amount we pay when we buy any article. Now, you go to the market to buy a book, the money that you, you are to pay on that book is the cost price. So, the amount that you pay when you buy a particular article, when you buy a particular article, it simply means cost price. That is the money that you pay or that you are to pay on any article bought in the market. That is cost price. Now, the selling price. The selling price simply means the amount that we sell an article. The amount that we sell an article. Now, you have a bag to sell in the market. Then, after selling that bag, then that price that you show the back out simply means it's selling price. Let me go right again for better understanding. Cost price simply means the amount we pay when we buy an article. The amount that you spend in the market on a particular article simply means cost price. And the selling price is the amount that we sell an article. The amount that we sell an article. Now, profit now. Profit is made when the selling price, again, when the selling price is greater than the cost price. When the selling price is greater than the cost price. Now, you have a buyer and you want to sell that buyer in the market. Again, listen to me, profit is made when the selling price is greater than the cost price. You bought that buyer for 20 naira. Then you have to sell it now. Then let's say you sell it for 25 naira or 30 naira, which means that you have sold it more than the price 
that you bought it. You have sold it not at the price that you bought it in the market. That is, which means that you have made profit on that buyer. Remember that you bought the buyer for 20 naira, but now you are selling it for 25 naira. So you are making a profit of 5 naira. So which means that the profit, that is the selling price here, is now more than the cost price on that buyer. Then the loss, loss is made when the selling price is less than the cost price. When the selling price is more than it is, is less than the cost price, then let's say in the market you bought a bag for five hundred naira in the market. Then now you have to sell it now. By the time you sold it out, you sold it at the rate of four hundred naira, which means that you are selling it below the cost price. You are selling it below the cost price. Remember that you bought it for five hundred naira. Then you are selling it for four hundred naira, which is for, that is loss. Now, that is loss. So when the cost price now is greater than the selling price, that is loss. Let me go over it again. Profit again. Profit is made when the selling price is greater than the cost price. The price that you are selling an article is more than the price that you bought it. That is that is profit. Then the loss now. When you are selling an article at a low rate than you bought it, that is, you tend to make loss on that article. That's why I said that loss is made when the selling price is less than the cost price, or when the cost price is greater than the selling price, when the cost price that, that you bought that article is more than the selling price, that is loss. Now, Let's look at how to determine the profit or loss. How do we determine profit? That is, how do we calculate the profit made on any article? How do we also calculate the, the, loss, the, the loss made on any article? Now, to determine the profit of any article sold, subtract the cost price from the selling price. Subtract the cost price from the selling price. So if the cost price is greater than the selling price, it is loss. Again, if the cost price, that is the amount that you paid on an article, is more than the amount that you sold it, which means that you tend to make loss. So how do we determine the profit or the loss on any article? Now, let's all look at how to calculate profit on any article. Question number one. Question number one says, an article bought for 1,500 Naira and was sold for 1,800 Naira find the profit or loss of that article. Let me repeat the question again. An article, you bought an article for 1,500 naira, and now you are in need of money, you now sold it for 1,800 naira. which means that you have sold it higher than the cost price. You bought it for 1,500 naira. now you are now selling it for 1,800 naira. which means that the selling price here now is more than the cost price. Now, how do you find the profit now? now what you need to do is this. That's example one. Example one. The, the cost price, the cost price is 1,500 naira. The selling price is 1,800 naira. Now, what you need to do now is to subtract set, that is selling price minus the cost price. Now, you pay this one at first. You pay 1,500 at first. Then, you now sold it for 1,800 naira. Therefore, selling price, selling price, Minus cost price. Minus cost price. Now what is the selling price? The selling price is 1,800 naira minus 1,500 naira. Now let's subtract this now. How do we subtract that? That's 1,800 naira minus 1,500 naira. Let's subtract it. Now, zero minus zero. 
that is zero, then zero minus zero, zero, zero minus zero is zero, zero minus zero, zero. Then let's subtract x minus five. X minus five is three. Then one minus one, that is zero, which is that we've made a profit of 300 naira. Remember that the cost price is 1,500 naira, and you sold it for that part, now sold it for 1,800 naira, which means that selling price minus cost price, selling price minus cost price, 1,800 naira minus 1,500. So the profit mean is 300 naira on that article. That is example one. Now let's go to example two. Example two. Example two. Example two says, Mrs. Janet bought an article for 400 Naira and later sold it for 3,500 Naira due to some damages that is on that bag. Mrs. Janet bought a bag for 4,000 Naira and sold it for 3,500 Naira. Which means that Mrs. Janet sold the bag at a low price, more than what she bought it. She bought it for 4,000 naira. Now she sold it for 3,500 naira due to some damages on that bag. Now find a profit or loss of that article. Now, before we find the profit or the loss, before we determine that one, we should know that 400 naira, that is the money paid for that bag, that Mrs. Janet paid on that bag, that cost her. It's more than the price that she later sold it. That is, she sold it lesser than the cost that, that the price that she bought it, which means that Mrs. Janet is making loss already on that bag and due to some damages. Now, let's determine the profit or loss. Now, you should know that Mrs. Janet is making a kind of loss on that uh, article. Now, the cost price is 4000 euros. Cost price here is 4,000 naira. And the selling price, the selling price is 3,500 naira. 3,500 naira. Now, let's determine the loss now. To determine the loss, must the loss is equal to cost price, cost price minus selling selling price, which means that 4,000 Naira minus 3,000 Naira. That's 4,000 Naira minus 3,500 Naira. Now, let's subtract that one. 4,000 Naira, then 3,500 Naira. Let's subtract it. Now, zero minus zero, zero. Zero minus zero, zero. Zero minus zero, zero. Zero minus zero, get zero. Then, you have to take one from here and put it here for this to become 10. Then, what you have left is three. Not that you, you took one from here, you put it here for this to become 10. Then, 10 minus five, that is five. Then, three minus three, that is zero. So you are not having 500 naira as what? As loss. So which means that this is Janet lost 500 naira on that article. That's how to get the loss on any article. Now, you have to look at the question very well. You have to determine the loss or the profit. Then you should know that which one is it the loss? Is it the, the cost price? That is bigger than the uh, that the selling price or the selling price bigger than the cost price. So that's why I said that whenever the cost price, whenever the cost price is small than the selling price, again, whenever the cost price of any article is more than the selling price. Whenever the, that is, profit is made when the selling price is greater than the cost price. 
profit is made when the selling price is greater than the first price and loss is made when the selling price is less than the cost price. So when the cost price is greater than the selling price, then you get to make a profit now. Now let's go to, to this question again for another, for better understanding. An article bought for 1,500 Naira and was sold for 1,800 Naira. Find the profit or loss of that article. Article bought for 1,500 Naira. Here now you should know that the cost price and the selling price. Then the cost price is 1,500 Naira. Then the selling price is 1,800 Naira. You should know that the selling price now is more than the cost price, which means that here now we are making profit. Then the next one is Mrs. Janet bought an article for 4,000 Naira and sold it for 3,500 Naira due to some damages. Then here now you should know that. The cost price here is more than the selling price. And if the cost price is more than the selling price, you get to make loss. Again, if the cost price, that is cost price of any article, is more than the selling price, you get to make what now? You get to make loss. Now, the next one we are going to look at is another question about three, which says that a man bought an article for 700 Naira. Article could be anything, a bag, a book, a standard, a shoe, a viral, a pen. So when I say article, to mean a share, to mean a table. So a man bought an article for 700 Naira and then sold it for 7,500 Naira. Here now, the selling price here is more than the cost price. The selling price is more than the cost price. Remember that the cost price here is 700 Naira why the selling price is 7,500 7, Naira. Again, a man bought an article for 700 Naira and sold it, let's have sold it for 7,500 Naira. Find the profit or loss of that article. That's a sample theory. Now, a man bought an article for 700 naira. That is cost price. Cost price is 700 naira. And let us sold it for 7,500 naira. That is selling price. Selling price. That is what? 7,500 naira. Then find the profit or loss of that article. Now, what we need to do now is selling price here, selling price is more than the cost price minus cost price. So we have 7,500 Naira minus 700 Naira. So let's subtract that one. Now, so what do you subtract 7,500 minus 700 Naira? This 7,000. 500 naira, then minus 700 naira. Let's subtract it. So we have 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0, 0 minus 0, 0. Then here now, there's no way you can take 7 from 5. So you need to borrow one from this place and put it here. Then by doing that, you are having 6 left. So 50 minus 7. Now, what is 50 minus? 7. 50 minus 7 is 8. 50 minus 7 is 8. Then you have to bring down 6. Which means that the profits made on that article is 6,800 fat. The man made a lot of uh, profit on that article. Because here now, the selling price is more greater than that of cost price. So when the selling price is more than the cost price, you tend to make a profit. You tend to make a profit. Now, they don't forget what I'll be able to, to teach you today. Then I'll make sure that you revise your notes very well and you play the video over and over again for better understanding. Now, 
There's another question here also, which says that find the profit or loss on, of an article bought for 4,500 naira and was sold for 3,500 naira. Now, let me test you of something. Here now, we have an article bought for 4,500, which means that the cost price here now is more than the selling price. So, is it profit or loss? Yes, you got it, you got it right. Which means that that article, which was bought for 4,500, you now sold it for 3,500 naira. You are making a loss, it's a loss. Because here now, the cost price is more than the selling price. So what you need to do is what? Just subtract 4,500 naira from 3,000, 500 naira. Now let's do the simple calculation of the cost. That's a sample four. A sample four. Then the cost price, cost price is 4,500 naira. 4,500 naira. 4,500 Naira. Example 4, again. The cost price is total 4,500 Naira. Then, why the selling price? The selling price is total that's 3,500 Naira. 3,500 Naira. Again, the cost price is 4,500 Naira. And the selling price now is 3,500 Naira. Now here now the cost price is more than the selling price. Which means that that is loss. Now, you now see cost price minus Selling price. Cost price minus selling price. Now, 4,500 naira minus 3,500 naira. Now, let's subtract it. 4,500 minus 3,500 naira. Zero minus zero, zero. Here now, zero minus zero, 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 zero. Then five minus five, that is zero. Then four minus three is one. That's now. Here now, we have cost price to be 4,500. Then the selling price is 3,500. So the loss of that article is what? Is 1,000 Naira. Is 1,000 Naira. Now, That's example, example four for you. Make sure that you go over your notes again for better understanding. Then I have some questions for you to solve on your own. They are just two. Make sure you follow the examples given. There are two questions. Number one says, a pen was bought for 350 Naira and later sold for 250 Naira. Determine the profit or the loss. A pen that was bought for 350 Naira, but later you sold it for 250 Naira. Determine the profit. Is it profit? Is it loss? Then I want you to determine if it is profit or loss. But you should remember that here now, the cost price is more than the selling price. So where the cost price, where the cost price is more than the selling price, you tend to make a loss. Then number two, a book was bought for 850 Naira and it has sold for 1,000 Naira. Find the profit or loss. Determine the profit or loss on that article. Now you bought that book for 850 Naira, 850 Naira, and it has sold it for 1,000. You can see that the selling price here is more than the cost price. And whenever the selling price is more than the cost price, which means that you tend to make a profit. So. Do those two questions for your own and make sure you read very well. 
Then your other notes, make sure that you write, you copy them, copy it uh, correctly, and make sure you continue to read your book and keep seeing. Thank you very much. Till we meet again.